Hi guys, so this is our backyard. Um, again, we live on about half an acre, but our backyard is, you know, it's not the whole half acre. But this right here is where I'm gonna put up safety fencing because our new chickens are um, roaming a little bit too far. Our old chickens, they know um, like where to go and where not to go, sort of. I don't know um, how they kind of learn that, but they know to kind of stay in like our yard and like our immediate neighbors. Our immediate neighbors luckily don't care. You can see like a lot, people here don't really have fences. Um, but our, the new chickens are like just roaming too far. And um, we live sort of near um, like a main road. It's a two lane road, but it's traveled a lot because um, like rush hour traffic and stuff. There's a lot of neighborhoods around here. So I'm planning on putting safety fence right here. It's gonna be 30 feet by 20 feet. Um, that's our little pear tree and our neighbors. Um, so I'm going to put up a 20 by 30 foot, like plastic, polypropylene, whatever you want to call it, um, safety fence because I would love to get a Premier One electric fence, but they're just so expensive. And, um, also we have a one-year-old and a four-year-old and they come out here to play on the little jungle gym. So I don't want them to like accidentally touch it. So I'm not getting the Premier One electric fence. I'm just gonna get the plastic safety fence with um, with like the step-in posts. Um, so it'll be movable so I can like move them around our backyard. You can see here's two of our chickens, our Buff Orpington and an Easter Egger. And they know to stay in the backyard. And they also go in our front yard. They go in um, our immediate neighbors. But the new chickens roamed all the way two doors down and I don't know if you can see the house um, all the way at the end that their house is on a main road so I don't want the chickens going over there and you can see our neighbors behind us have a fence to keep the deer out we get a lot of deer um, we used to get even more when my apple tree was still alive because they'd come and eat the apples and then there's my raccoon trap. Last night, um, my husband thought we caught a raccoon, but I came out here this morning and it was a squirrel. So, I don't know, I might have to move it. But that's the shed, two doors down. Our neighbors have the shed and I think the raccoons live under there. So I'm trying to figure out where to put the trap. I caught them, you can see I have like a chair with one of our cameras up. And I caught the raccoons and a fox. We get foxes too. Um, coming from like this little wooded area so they're coming from that way somewhere and I'm pretty sure they live underneath that shed the, at least the raccoons do the foxes just kind of roam um, you see them all the time especially at like dusk going along this back tree and fence line so I'm about to go to tractor supply and pick up the netting and posts and then um, hopefully between 10 and 10.30 this morning, the um, chicks, the meat chicks will be at the post office. I went over to our post office and asked them and they said, um, they called the other post office, like the main one in our area, which is only another five minutes away. And they said they'll be here probably between 10 and 10 30 so I want to get them as soon as possible so they don't um, just you know sit in the box and then this is like a they call it a fire bush I don't know there is a, a big bush also honeysuckle grows here and the chickens love going in here you see one I can't tell if that's an old one or a new one the new ones kind of stay together we have five old ones and then five new ones I did give our neighbor five of our new ones so we only have 10 now um, and you can see them and there's the goose doing his job following the chickens I was surprised I was thinking I was gonna have to get a gosling and raise them but he's actually doing a really good job he took straight to following around the chickens protecting them he honks 
my husband comes around the side of the house he honks at them you can see the chickens in here these are the new guys I gotta find a name for them and Thule the goose's name was already Thule so my husband likes it so I think we're just gonna stick with it but you can see he's hanging around the chickens and then it's our patio everything's a little bit of a mess right now because we're in transition period from getting the new chickens um, rebuilding things which hopefully I'm gonna be doing some more building today you can see the whole mess over there so it's a nice you know flat yard the chickens love it I would love to have more space um, we're thinking about buying like a smaller farm something around like five acres maybe like a project house I really love old farmhouses from like the turn of the century um, or even older I found this great one it was built in um, pre-civil war oh my gosh it was gorgeous but it was on a gigantic hill which I wasn't crazy about um, and they put in this hideous modern kitchen it didn't fit the house at all so I was like oh I should rip this kitchen out um, but these are chickens They're so cute. I don't know where our leghorn and our snow white Easter egg are. They're probably in the front. So now we have one buff Orpington, one Easter egg, six Rhode Island reds, a snow white Easter egg, and a leghorn. One white leghorn. She's lonely now. I think she's a little sad because her sister Leghorn um, was eaten by the raccoon. You guys can't see, but the chickens are like roaming in the bush. They love that bush. Chickens actually really like wooded areas. Oh, here they come. Hey girls. And there's Thule sitting back there. Thule, your girls are moving. Here he comes. He kind of just paces around them all day. It's really cute. You can see his little angel wing. I don't know. I'm trying to give him some time to get used to us and the house and his new chickens before I try to wrap it. Which his previous owner said she tried to wrap it, but he didn't like the wrap and he kept taking it off. So I don't know. He might just have a wonky wing. But he's following his girls around. Tully! Hi, baby! He's actually pretty big. I didn't know that he was going to be that big. And he's not full grown yet. He's only six months. So he's still going to get a little bit taller. There you go. Good boy. He's so soft. Geese are really, really soft. Tuli. You're a handsome boy. You're the handsomest. See our chickens go in the neighbor's yard. Our neighbors don't care. We actually have really good neighbors. Our neighbors are so sweet. I love them. I love all of our neighbors. We live in a really nice neighborhood. It's kind of small. It's only like, um, it's like an H shape. So it's a smaller neighborhood around here, but there's no HOA, which I love. I hate HOAs. That's one thing when we bought this house, I said no HOAs. Because a lot of neighborhoods around here have HOAs. And then um, there's actually a, like a city association um, that if you live within like the next city over, the next little suburbs over, they have um, an association for like the whole area. So you have to pay for it. But they also have like tons of swimming pools and... Um, I think there's like 17 different outdoor pools, a water park. 
golfing, skate park, um, ice skating, gyms that are all a part of the association. So the people that live over there and have to pay it, they actually um, get dis like steeply discounted rates. And then we have a membership um, to it. You can get an annual membership and then utilize like all the facilities they have, which is actually really, really nice. We've taken the kids like putt putt and um, we go to the pools every year. They have an indoor, two indoor pools and then a water park with like water slides and stuff, which is all included. So it's great for the kids. Bye Tuli.